The movie is Kickboxer Retaliation, which is a sequel to Kickboxer Vengeance, which is not a sequel to the original Kickboxer, but that's going to get confusing. I don't know if this is a reboot, a remake, a refranchise, but this one is definitely a sequel to whatever the last one is. So that's the end of this. So yeah, we go. It is an action, definitely a drama. Also, it's definitely a kickboxer movie. And since this is becoming a thing, it's definitely a Van Damme movie. John claude Van Damme should definitely have a good, bad, and the WTFs. WTFs. It is a 15, up in the top corner, 15. It's on for one hour and 50 minutes. And it has a long ending as well. We're sticking around until the end credits are definitely finished. Directed by Dimitri Logo Tis... <laughs> Got Dimitri right. Logo. Logo. No idea. It's also written by Dimitri. And, get rid of that, Jim McGough. My God, I just killed Starman. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's the, written by. Starring Alan Musiti again. He's back. <laughs> Musiti. There should only be one Christopher Lambert. Christoph Lambert makes his appearance in this movie. Mike Tyson's in this. Not even going to try this guy's name. He is, we're not going to try and butcher this guy's name because the guy is like seven foot tall or something like that. And I'm going to try and do my best to have all the foreign hyphens it, I, like the, honestly the second word is like a P and a B together I don't even think I can possibly do that that's just a P but now it's a D I don't even know that's right I don't even know the giant's name sorry yeah, the P and the D thing I'm sorry I just gooned that probably makes sense PD PD to me the guy's an absolute animal monster <laughs> and the legend himself Jean-Claude Van Damme budget for this movie 13 million and it only made according to Wikipedia £92,760 Came out strong on DVD and Blu-ray though in the UK. Doing well. Because it already has a sequel getting made called Armageddon. I'm telling you right now, cast Scott Atkins right now to be the baddie. So here's a little bit about the movie. Said about a year after, 80 months or so since the events of the first movie, Kurt has returned to the States where he became an MMA star. But his past has come back to haunt him. As he is arrested, well sort of arrested, he's sort of kidnapped and sent back to Bangkok, Thailand. To defend his championship he won from Tom Poe in a new match against an angry giant. But he doesn't want to do this, he wants to be a star so they send him to prison. It's a bit harsh. But he did murder Tom Poe. Even though Tom Poe appears throughout this movie in flashbacks and Dave Batista in fact has two trailers at the start of this movie as well. Go, oh yeah that's Tom Poe. After being in jail for a while and finding new friends he is pushed to breaking point to finally compete against the new monster who is called Monkut Monka. Puh. Like the actor's name himself, can't even pronounce it, but there we go, that's the basic outline of this movie. Has to return to Thailand to have a fight, while Christopher Lambert has a crazy mis like circulation of gamblers. What a random review this has turned out to be, it's even scripted. <laughs> Fun fact about this movie, this is the first official sequel Van Damme has been in, that's the best fun fact I've got for this movie. Van Damme was killed off in the original series and whatever this is. So Kickboxer 3, The Art of War looks absolutely crap. Dennis Kane, the legs cast you've never heard of, a flying kick. Look at that man, just Kickboxer 3. How white is that? How white is Casper that? But the VHS back in the time, Kickboxer, The Art of War, I mean look at that, that's it. He doesn't even look like the same guy, that actually looks like the Love London. Yeah, look a bit like a Miss the London there. The fight for glory becomes the fight for justice. Has been rewound, another flip cover, 2020 vision, big box, yeah. That was maybe a retro video, now it's in here. So here's my review of the movie. Don't know why I just dabbed a bit there, but the review of the movie. I was very, very cautious about watching this after seeing the first, the reboot, the sequel, whatever the other one was. But I was a little bit interested. As soon as I seen Christopher Lambert was involved in this, I was like, oh, and then Mike Tyson, I was like, what the fuck? Starting off like the original with epic landscapes of Thailand, it suddenly gets a bit weird as footage blurred over and faded in of Kickboxer is cut in. Now you think I'm talking about the first film, that would make sense, wouldn't it? Like flashback, but no. It's the original Kickboxer, like Van Damme, as young Van Damme is in the corner, you think, what the fuck? Is this a sequel? Ah, what is this? Very, very confusing. Then it really starts with a train sequence which starts dancing, you think, wait a minute. Definitely a dream. A bit like Under Siege 2 when he goes along fighting a few people on top and all that. And he sort of dancing and then wakes up in the middle of the MMA ring, busts out some arm bars and stuff like that, and that's when he gets kidnapped. So it has a bit of a confusing start, but it is sort of catch up in the story, sets the pace and sets the tone, and he gets sent to prison. Lambert's pretty good in this as well, delivering forms. It is looking a bit dear, poor Lambert, but it does deliver an awesome performance. Probably one of the best in the film. The guy, Alan Mussini, who is generally um, looks like an amazing real life actor, like martial artist, sorry, not an actor. He can act in a way of. Sorry, I don't want to do myself over that one. 
then walks along and borrows a lot from All Boy when he walks through the prison in one big long epic shots and like moving cameras and loads of stunt guys getting kicked in the face, flipping over, like literally getting chucked down flights of stairs like hello war and at that point I was like wow that's good, it's good to see that kind of fight in, in a kickboxing movie some nice choreographed stuff and falls and stuff, you know what I mean, you can watch a kickboxing movie, you don't want some serious fucking story, you want to see flips and kicks. Look what the Undisputed franchise was doing, and then it didn't get released in England. What happened to Free? Four's coming out, but what happened to Free? Once again, cast Scott Atkins in a new one, please. Just like to point out, like this has just cut too, it's very yellow. And some of the prison scenes, it's like, why is that so yellow? Really? When Mike Tyson turns up, it's not like a what the fuck moment. Mike Tyson's actually really good in it. Even quite funny, he's just like, I oh, interrupt my meditating. Boom! In the fighting scenes with him, he's really good. Honestly, I mean, it's Mike Tyson. He's, of course he can box, you know what I mean? The fight scene between him and that, it's awesome. And then it goes in the whole training. Then Van Damme reappears out of nowhere, just like in the night. Gives him a nice reveal. In fuck my life, Van Damme's now blind. It's blood sport all over again. He just says he's blind. He says, right, okay. But he possesses some pure master tomfoolery and fighting styles. You're not expecting to get a kickboxer film with Van Damme in and not see Van Damme fight. He's blind. And he has a fight with Mike Tyson. He then has a motherfucking sword fight with Christopher Lambert, Highlander, Conor McLeod of the Clan McLeod of the Clan McLeods as well. So there's a wet dream for you. Van Damme versus Christopher Lambert in a sword fight. There can only be one. Yes, Van Damme. There should have only been one. Surprise, Van Damme hasn't had a twin in this franchise. Then, oh my god. Like, oh my god. Like, O-M-G all over again. The fucking subtitles are back. Big, bold, colourful. Why? Why? The subtitles are even there when the crowd chant White Warrior. Which could be a bit racist in a way, but it goes White, as in White, Warrior in Red. I hate Red Fund. White Warrior. White Warrior. White Warrior. Like, wow. Why? <laughs> then there's another scene with a train which, again, looks like the same thing but in date it looks really bad. The CGI on the train was terrible. But then there's a bit of an arty farty scene with mirrors and UV tattoos, that's different, but you think why? But I'm saying why there, it's a film, do you know what I mean? That looks different, it's very colourful and then weird in a way. We then finally get to the end fight and the guy is a monster he's fighting with and it's really good. Great to see you finding this big fight, this big giant fight and stuff like that. Some good action sequences, good some flips and kicks and brutal bits. Then there's a proper what the fuck moment. Like flatline in the moment, you're like, like, what the fuck? It's like fighting Jason on a Mortal Kombat X and all of a sudden it's like, what the fuck, I thought I'd beat him on extreme hard. Back at you with his fucking machete. No. Spot the film that bit, especially when Van Damme runs up and goes, no! Isn't Van Damme make me blind? There's even one bit when Van Damme says, can I see the guy fight before the fight? And you think, can you see the guy fight? Can you? Like, you tell me, can you see it? It's a very loose film, this. But this was a fun watch. It's better than the original, or whatever the sequel wants to be. I did enjoy it. It is getting a sequel almost straight away. So if you see this, I haven't seen anything about it, it is worth checking out. And now, since these are VHSs, not concert bricks anymore, this is a three star VHS. One, two, three, even though it's not available on VHS. The original is free VHS. It's picking up a bit of a random one. There we go, free VHS, maximum risk. Free VHS, rate another movie. Note to self, I might try and do that in the future. Instead of digitally putting in the whole concert brick is back there, one concert brick. Get rid of that concert brick. I might just start picking up. How many VHSs was it? There, free out there. Thanks for watching. Enjoy Kickboxer. Goodbye. Hello, and welcome to the end of Kickboxer 2, 5, the remake, the reimagination. Um, that review was filmed nearly a year and a half ago, if not over a year and a half. Believe me, I've just tried looking for my MTV t-shirt. It's probably somewhere in one of these wardrobes. I didn't want to pull. So we're sitting in my bedroom right now, getting through this morning. Fucking font, titles, um, weird names, pronunciation. Now, the next episode of Fast Forward Reviews will be the final episode. And I'll tell you what that is in a minute. Um, but a year and a half later, the kickboxer... Um, there's no sign of Van Damme, Lambert or Tyson in Armageddon. There is just a still and there's been nothing since. So it's done pretty well. Um, it's unfortunately found itself in Poundland, the last two. So obviously, I mean, there's been a big following, but I think it's completely all over the place. Um, going back to um, Undisputed, Undisputed 4 has actually came out over here. Fight for Freedom. 
So it was on Netflix as Biker. Now it came out on DVD, but the third one's still not released in the UK. And now Biker's returned on Netflix. So it's, I mean, it's a clusterfuck. Scott Atkins would be great in the cast, but again, Alan Mussolini, whatever you want to call him, is going to be in that. Um, so basically that was filmed. Um, I wanted Jambo Shango to be in this, but um, literally this was filmed ages ago and the last one is going to be Cuffs. And Cuffs is going to be a special ending. Because at the end of the day, the problem is, it's not that I don't work with the team, the fucking magazines and stuff like that now, but um, I still have a good, strong connection with it. But I just don't have the time writing these, then filming them, then editing, chopping it, and then going, oh, I'll put a font there and a font here. Like, oh, fuck. So I just don't have the time and... I was say a year, like a year and a half ago, like I was like, right, that's it, and I've been working my way gradually through them, from Prey of the Roller Boys to fourteen oh eight, finally fourteen oh eight, Kickbox, uh, Nocturnal Animals. So we'll get there eventually. That's a notification saying the new Kickbox has been made. <laughs> but yeah, it was just one of those things where, yeah, the next episode will be cuffs, and go and get us wrong, it is proper special. There's some rare necessities in this, and even Christian Slater's in it. So yeah, I'll see you in the cuffs, and it should come out quickly as well. Because I've got a package I can only open when I've outlined it, so I don't know if I've fucked up anything. So yeah, thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Goodbye for now. And now, the end is here.